if one looks at the cause of war, why are we in this dangerous situation? It is because the financial system is on the brink of collapse. As you can see, you know, by the incredible debt which has been built up, especially since the many trillions were pumped into the system after the systemic collapse in 2008. And naturally, you know, the hyperinflationary tendency which you see right now in the price of energy, the price of food. So we have to address in this new architecture also the need to have a new credit system, a new Bret and Wood system with the main aim to overcome the poverty and underdevelopment of all people who are in that condition worldwide. And that way contribute to a stable economic growth as being the platform for all countries to cooperate and dedicate themselves to the common aims of mankind. Now, some may think that this is utopian, and I'm telling you this is the only realistic perspective because the alternative to this is nuclear extinction, and then there will be not even an historian left to investigate why we came to this point. Our national security interests are faced with a direct threat as the NATO countries military build up around our borders. Therefore, this time we do not expect lengthy discussions, but rather very concrete response from our Western colleagues with regard to the proposals on security guarantees we put on the table. In a nutshell, we seek written, legally binding, ironclad guarantees for the following that the NATO will not expand eastwards, that no assault weaponry will be deployed close to the Russian territory, that the military infrastructure in Europe will be brought back to the parameters prescribed in the 1997 Foundation Act between Russia and the NATO. These are our red lines, and our colleagues in the West are well aware of that. Unfortunately, our Western colleagues are trying to descale the whole issue to Ukraine. It seems at times that they are in a way self-hypnotized with the imminent threat of the Russian invasion. It is something irrational, you know, self-inflicted phobias. Something to be discussed in a therapy rather than an, in a serious political circle. We should not repeat the mistakes of the past. And we still have a chance to focus on what unites us rather than divides.